Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here today and we're just here to show you guys how to allow respondents who answer your Google form to upload files or images to a question you might have on the form. Now to start, you're obviously going to need a Google form that's already up with some sections and questions that the respondent can answer. Then from here, it's a matter of choosing which question or section where you want the respondent to upload their file. So for this form that we have up here right now, we're just gonna select this favorite color section. Once you've selected it, you can see that a bunch of options will appear around the question or section, which allows you to basically edit this little question form. So from here, we're going to want to go to the upper right portion of the section, which reads out what type of answer that the respondent will be giving. Obviously for this, question we don't want a short answer we want them to upload a file so to do this you just simply click on the triangle over here it'll bring out a drop down menu and from here you can see you can change what kind of answers that the respondent will have to give so from here you just have to look for the file upload option once you selected it you can see that new options will then appear on the section which basically have to do with what kinds of files or how many files that the respondent can give for this one section so if you want to allow only specific file types, you're going to want to click on this little button and from here you can choose which types of files they can give. So maybe because you want them to answer what their favorite color is, obviously you want something a bit more visual. So maybe we'll limit the file types to document, PDF, and image. Another thing that you can fix or edit is the number of files that they can upload. So there's usually a limit of 1, 5, or 10. Typically, since this is a pretty simple question, we're just going to keep it at one. Just note that if you do want to accept more files into one question, you can do that through this drop down menu. Next thing you're going to want to change is the maximum file size. So just take note that when you're receiving file uploads from other respondents, you're going to want to limit it to how many gigabytes you might have in your Google Drive, because that's where it'll be saved. So be prepared to accept some pretty big files if depending on what files you're accepting. And if you're not really expecting anything too major or too big of a file, you can just simply select 1 MB or 10 MB depending on your preference. So now that you have this section up, let's just go see how this would look like in the final submitted form of the Google form. So we're just gonna go hit send, copy that link and open a new tab. And as you can see, the question now allows respondents to add a file. Now, for a respondent to add a file, you sim they simply have to select the add file button and then simply choose between uploading a file directly from their computer or device or from their Google Drive. So if a respondent were to select their Google Drive, any of the uploadable files on their drive that adhere to the restrictions or specifications that were mentioned in the Google form, they should appear right here. Then following, once you see everything up here, you simply have to select what you want to upload, then hit the select button. Hopefully this helps you better manage your Google forms. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help with online forms or data management collection, check out the rest of our channel using the link below. See you next time.